X Defiant movement is crazy. It's the key to winning gunfights and surviving. I'll be teaching oh you five God, game changing me. movements. Welcome to the movement guide. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about bunny hopping. And a lot of people did not even know you can do this movement in X Defiant. And it's kind of simple, but you got to get the timing down. So there's two ways to do this movement. One, you can sprint forward, jump, slide, and then jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, jump, slide, because that's what you're essentially doing when you land. You're going to want to jump and slide at the exact same time to hit that bunny hop like movement. That way you get a little bit more momentum when you start this way with a jump into the slide, or you can simply do it a little bit easier. You sprint forward and you just jump slide. And you just start it automatically. You can do this and aim in very quickly, as you can see on my screen. It's not like a slow aim. It's not like a slide cancel. You see how so long it took me to aim in? Look at the slide cancel. You see how long or it's off sprint? When you're doing this, you're one, you're hitting like kind of a movement that's evading bullets and kind of hard to keep up. And then you aim in fairly quickly, a little quicker than almost any other movement you can do. So not only is this movement good for maneuvering around the map and you become a harder target, but you also aim very quickly out of it, which kind of gives you that advantage when they start to look at you and you find your people. I'm going to utilize the bunny hop here. See, I can easily just engage in this gunfight right away. He looked a little lost because I bunny hopped around the corner. The good thing is you can do this a lot of times before it kind of wears out. Because you do lose momentum eventually with the bunny hop. But after like about 10 times, you see how, how hard of a target I am? This is the example I was saying. It's not that easy to catch the bunny hop in action. And to top it off, in this game, for some reason, when you shoot someone mid-air, you lose more aim assist or it's just a harder target. So jumping, bun bunny, bunny hopping... It's pretty OP. And that brings me to tip number two, which is slide canceling. One of the most effective way for people to engage in gunfights in Call of Duty for a very long time. And to do this in X of Fine, it's fairly simple. You're going to want to slide, jump, and then aim in, and then obviously shoot your target. Slide, jump, aim in. It's a fairly easy way to do it in this game. It doesn't require that much skill. And you can get it down. And this is a great way to engage in gunfights. Or even something I like to do sometimes is I'll sprint around. And I'll get ready for that slide. And as soon as I see someone, as I slide, jump, aim in versus coming out of sprint the fire. Because one, sprint the fire can be a little bit slower at times like this. And two, on top of it all, you're like an easy target if you just sprint the fire. You know, you're not really moving. But when you sprint, slide, aim, and jump, it's like you become a harder target at the same time. So again, you slide, jump, and then aim in and shoot. You see, it's very easy once you get the hang of it. And it's one of the best ways to engage in gunfights. Love the slide cancel. Slide, jump in, aim in, shoot. Slide. Slide, jump in, aim and shoot. And it gets the job done. Slide, aim in, shoot. Slide, aim and shoot. You're going to see basically this is a very simple movement, but a very effective. And it's a good way to engage in gunfights. Do this advanced movement. You're going to want to slide, jump, but like in one direction, not just forward. So it's going to look like this. Like a, It's like a strafe jump midair. As you can see, the, the difference... And this can go either way. It could be right or it could be left. But, oh, you see how hard I just juked that guy with the strafe? I did it to him. I was one shot and he couldn't kill me. He actually missed every bullet and I was able to take him out. And that shows the, the how dominant this movement can be. And I use this a lot. And this is a great way of kind of combining the jump shot with the slide cancel. Again, slide, jump, and you're going to strafe in the air. You can do left or right. You just do right. Combine right there. Bunny hops. Slide, strafe, slide, strafe. For tip number three, we're going to be talking about jump shotting. And now in this game, jump shotting is actually very effective for a couple reasons. Now, there's two ways to utilize the regular jump shot. One, you jump around corners to get ready in the gunfight. So you want to do it like this. Now, something I always know, like if you're coming around a corner, what you want to do is you want to anticipate someone around and you want to basically be aiming mid air as you come around the corner like this. You basically want to be on your target as you jump around a corner. You don't want to do this, then aim in. That one second or half a second will get you killed. You want to do that. There's a big difference between both of them. So this is a this is a better way to do it. You want to come around a corner if you're anticipating someone or even just to clear the corner. I'm not doing this and then aiming in late, right? I'm, I'm coming around the corner ready to rock and roll. I'm jumping and as I'm jumping, I'm ready pre-firing the, the aim in like that. Another really good effective way with the jump shotting in this game is you can spam jumping. So something I do and I've seen other good players do is like when they're in the middle of a gunfight, like medium range, close range, instead of just like shooting and kind of like putting yourself, you know, as it like make yourself an easy target. Instead, what I do is I'll just spam jump shot like this, but I'm like jumping back and forth on the floor, but making myself a harder target. 
Now, doing this, one, you need to have the right settings or a controller that allows you to do this. I have a Battle Beaver, so I have back buttons. So it allows me to basically spam my jump button while I do this or if you play claw. But also what I've come to realize, you will miss a couple bullets in the process of doing this because it gets kind of hard to control. And if they're not jumping around like you are, it's going to be easy to hit your shots. You're going to take them out either way because they're going to miss a lot. And I feel like you lose even aim assist mid air in this game. So it's to your benefit. And that brings me to jump shotting. What I describe this as you want to kind of pre-fire the aim in and the jump shot around the corner, right? It looks something like that. It's a very basic movement, but gets the job done every single time. Like I said, there's many ways to engage. And outside, this is the ultimate guide because I'm telling you how to slide cancel, jump shot, bunny hop. I'm giving you all the secret sauce and all the ways you can abuse the movement and get better at this game. But just a simple jump shot. Just jumping around corners, trying to pre-fire jump shot like this. You essentially look like this. You see how I'm already aimed in on my target? Now, now don't, don't mind me missing a bit. <laughs> but as soon as I jump around a corner, I'm already aimed at my target. I'm ready to shoot. It basically looks like this. You want to sprint. You can even hit like hit like a little strafe jump here. Boom. You see how I spam my jump shot there? Spam my jump shot there. That's what I explained to you guys. You can spam your jump shot when you're in these random gunfights, especially like medium to long range. It makes you a harder target, a lot harder to shoot. And when you're harder to shoot, well, the odds of you killing somebody are a little bit higher. I can show you a little bit more of it. You see? Look at that. He doesn't even know to shoot. Tip number four, crouch spamming. So in this game, there is no proning. You can't prone on the floor. But there is something to know. You can crouch spam. You can crouch up and down very quickly. And this is effective on certain spots on the map. Obviously, if there's like a head glitch. But you can basically jump back and forth pretty easily. So if you're behind cover, something you can do really quickly is kind of jump up and down like this. And spam the crouch button and abuse it. And kind of get shots off and it's, it makes them harder for them to shoot you. It's a little bit of a cheesy technique, but it does work in this game. So that is something, this is a way you can abuse a crouch shot. Another way and another thing you can do is like when you're in a gunfight, like, you know, especially like medium to long range. I wouldn't really necessarily use this close range. This is more of like a medium to especially long range fight, like, like you know, over here. Uh, something you want to do is even like add some crouching into your gunfight. So let's say we're, let's say we're shooting at each other and I hit that crouch shot. Even like one or two crouch shots. I don't think spamming it is sometimes good, but even like just hitting that one or two crouch shot. One, it makes yourself a harder target. And something I've also noticed is like I'll be missing sometimes on very long ranges. You start missing a little bit and I crouch shot and it kind of it kind of brings my aim into their body. And then like kind of like it goes back to using both sticks. Show you guys how to utilize this crouch shot. Hit some crouch shots at the range. Again, you're making yourself a harder target, which seems to be like the name of this game. Make yourself a harder target. You're going to be hard to kill. The TTK is a little bit long. See, I'm spamming the crouching as I'm shooting. And you don't always have to spam it, but I'm just, you know, over exaggerating a little bit, but showing you like how crouching can be effective. You see how like they can't kill me because I'm making myself a harder target. And you can just do this like once or twice with certain gunfights. Like if I'm shooting right here, I can just do this, like a little juke with a crouch shot, kind of make the miss a little bit. I don't have to overdo it, but crouch shotting can be very effective, believe it or not. Or even somewhere like here, what I was saying earlier, you might, I say you could spam it like on a head glitch and make yourself a very hard target. You're most likely going to make them run away. Tip number five is the good old slide. In this game, the slide in itself isn't so viable, more so to maneuver around the map. There's certain like, you know, cracks. Uh, little places you can only prone through or crouch through and even like going down staircases ramps and go at full speed with the slide which is very effective that's where you're going to really utilize the slide in terms of movement but in terms of like gunfight like usually around sliding a corner it's never going to go so well usually you might as well just slide cancel if you're going to slide around a corner and let me show you and what i was trying to explain to you guys with the movement when it comes to sliding for example is here you slide down look how much faster you slide through here you slide all these little things you want to learn and practice. Slide through that instead of crouching through it. You're way faster. Gets you through it. There's a ramp. Slide down the ramp. You can even use movement to this. Any staircase, ramp, anything that has a down slope, you can slide off it. You go down faster. So you get some momentum. You get movement. You can also use it to engage in a gunfight if done at the right spots. So, for example, right here. And this is a very effective way to use your slide. Slide down this ramp and engage in a gunfight. It's all fast and deep I slid. And you can see I can even get away from these guys just from sliding down the ramp. And then, of course, just slide through this. And you can see the movement I'm utilizing to get in and out of these parts of the map. And kind of get in these gunfights very quickly. Again, I'm on this ramp. You slide down this ramp. Launches me forward. Able to take this guy out. 
And you can camera someone so bad and really just destroy them up close if you do it at the right time. I'm ready in this guy's face. Got the wheezy. Spam the jump button. And this is how you utilize this movement. But the thing is, you can do this anywhere that has a ramp, a slope. Some places on the other maps are pretty insane. You can you can go down very far. Slide through here. Already in cover. See, this is where you use a lot, utilize the slide. You don't you utilize the slide to engage in certain gunfights and certain movement mechanics and to like just maneuver around the map. It's not necessarily for anything else. Guys, I explained to you all the best movements in X Defiant and how to use them. Hopefully, this video helped you a lot. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.